Hi there everybody, welcome to another video. On today's video, I have this uh, Mercedes S-Class, the W221 chassis, 2012. And uh, I'm just gonna be carrying out a service, but um, I've already made a video on changing the oil and the oil filter. So on this one, on today, I'm going to change the air filter, uh, or there's two air filters on this model. Uh, as is a V6 and um, we're gonna start by removing this cover here so this cover just uh, pops up really it's just plugged in like so just literally unplug it and take the cover out so let me just get this out of the way and uh, the air filters are going to be located, one is going to be here and the other one is going to be on the other side. So I'm just going to get the air filters and I'm going to show you what they look like. So here's uh, the two filters, blueprint, this is the mic I have. Um, what's the actual part number is ADU172246. And uh, basically, this is what they look like. Um, that's in here. I have had them for quite a little while. That is for something else. And here they are. So we have two of them, one for each side. Um, so they're not that difficult to remove. Basically, if you open these clamps here, I already opened that one, but that is just sitting there like so. So if you pull it open, and this other side as well. And then with the T30 Torx um, socket, you have to undo these Torx screws that are sitting on the side. So there's another one here. Okay, so once you undo the two clamps here and you remove the two Torx, um, there's also um, another bolt just on the back here this one here if you open that it will be obviously I, I use my ratchet um, and just undo that as well until it's loose uh, then it will be a lot easier to remove this uh, filter from here Let's try and take it out here now. So this is the filter. You can see it's quite fairly dirty now. I've been everywhere with this car last year. I was camping and whatnot. Um, so this is the bolt here. Just gonna take it out from there. Um, what you wanna be careful when you're removing the filter it's um, not to damage, don't damage this gasket here. Just make sure it's, uh, it's intact, sitting in there. And also you can give a little bit of a clean inside there or blow it with, a, with something. As you can see it's a bit dirty. Got some leaves and whatnot. When you can hoover it out, that's the intake from there so um, that filter is out now uh, this particular one is uh, not sure if this is a make well I'm not sure um, so that is out and then obviously you're gonna have your new filter to fit 
in there so this this one it's the shape of this one is slightly different you're gonna need the one that has so this one here has that little thing for the bolt there so I'm just going to give that a clean and we'll take care of of that uh, and this other side it's a similar idea we have the two torques here one and two try not to lose those and I open the clamps here but um, on this one you also need to uh, remove this um, this is like an airflow meter or something like that or a, a pressure sensor um, before we can I mean you can take it out but the thing is uh, you need to plug that this into the other filter and on this one you haven't got that I mean there is a bolt but it's not attached to the filter so for this I think we need a T25 I'm just gonna get that okay I've got my torques T25 here take that bolt obviously be, be careful not to uh, drop any of this otherwise you'll spend some time looking for them and that just becomes time consuming so I have to take my own advice here Try not to drop those, <laughs> especially because I'm using one hand here. So I'll take this out. Okay, here we are. There's the little bolt. Take it out. Put that to one side. And then we can disconnect that from there and then bring that, this up so that is also a little bit dirty and to be honest I had a I had a diesel leak in this car uh, so there was fuel leaking um, out of one of these pipes uh, because I had um, one of my pipes was eaten by a mouse or something and I had to replace the whole hose that comes all the way um, under here even that broke when I was trying to fix this hose here basically that hose that goes into there the problem was that some of that was leaking into the uh, airbox and it was the, the smell was uh, quite bad but anyway there's no more leaks which is a good thing and i'm going to be replacing the filters so that is also great um so gonna give that a clean as well a wipe i think this side is quite clean the other side i'll clean it and then we feed the filters back okay i cleaned it and uh now I can fit the filter back in there. Actually, I'm going to um, just put a little bit of uh, WD-40 around. The little rubber, rubber where that goes in, just so it goes in quite easily. So now we can get our filter in there. So I'll just fit that bolt in a second. Let's get to, this to sit nicely around. should just go in there with not much force and we'll put these clamps 
on oh yeah get those clamps on there now we have this bolt sits in there and screws down there and we have two Torx screws sit on the sides of this airbox and uh, that's it really I'm going to obviously tighten those very lightly because they're just going into plastic so if you over tighten them they're only going to get damaged and uh, same principle with this side and just do it for the sake of doing it Oh, well, sake of the video. Also, I'm going to fit that back in there. I wasn't really <clears throat> thinking of taking it out, but there we are. Right. Everything is going to fit nicely. one of those on and then get the other side that's it now I'm going to tighten those two as well again those are only going into plastic so don't over tighten them otherwise you just end up damaging the plastic and then they just go around and don't tighten anymore that's it now i'll tighten the other side and we're pretty much done here so having said that I hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.